Hey everybody, Dave Williamson and I am back for part four of the collection reveal, starting up with this time with the Porsche 917 in the light green. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that light green. So hard to find one with the front matching with the back. That is actually very hard to find. This collection has the one here in the light green. And then the next car, let's put that aside. Next car up is a 68, which there's not too many 68s in this collection, but of the 68s, this is one of the nicer ones, and it is a blue custom fleet side with light toning on the side. You can't hardly see it in the light here, but it's about it's about 80% toned on the sides. Top is gorgeous. Back is good. The tail lights are very, very good on this one. That is a really nice piece. So there's not many 68s in this collection, but one of the biggest, well, the biggest jewel in the collection does happen to be a 68, and you will see that at the end of this video. Number four, we're wrapping it up now with a white chaparral right there. No big deal there. Let's just keep it going. Running out of space here with a Shelby turbine in blue. Very nice. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I want to get this done. Four videos for this collection. The greatest childhood collection ever, and that includes a purple charger beautiful purple charger look at that i love purple chargers i do i sold a couple of them recently might have to keep this one because i might might be a little light on purple chargers right now so we got to save some for, ne for next year look at this purple shelby turbine purple shelby turbine look how pretty that is that's a nice one very nicely placed stickers very very nicely Play stickers. I love that. And here is a red charger. Red charger. This one with toning on the side. Can you see it? It's hard to see it. Let's see there. Boy, you can see it right there. Look at that. Toning on the side, toning on the top, but toning on this side too. Yeah, look at all that toning. But it's a beautiful car. Looks like brand new. Let's take a look at the base. Looks like brand new. It's a brand new looking car. That's right. It is a beauty and it is a charger. So everybody loves chargers. And what is next? Next one is, oh, golly, 442. I didn't even know this one was in here. I thought I had already locked up behind crowbars and and uh, and all that kind of stuff, searchlights and dogs and guards, all those 442s. This collection has two of them. This one is red with the stripes. Now, let me ask you this. This one stripe is really messed up. So should I take that stripe? Should I, A, leave it alone? B, take off the bad stripe and look for one good stripe to replace it with. Or three, take all these stripes off. These are original stripes. What should I do? What do you think I should do? Should I just take the one off and try to find another one to replace it? Or should I just leave it alone? What do you think? It's red and it's gorgeous, light toning throughout. But it's typical with red. Otherwise, it's very nice, perfect wheels and everything. What do you think I should do with the red 442? Leave the stripes, take them off, or find a replacement for the one and just take that side off. I don't know if I could actually accomplish that. It would be quite a feat to take one stripe off and leave the others alone. All right, next car up is very sad, very sad. It is a lime Eldorado, and it's probably one of the worst used cars in the in the collection. And it's a 68. And 68s are notoriously weak in every collection. Every collection is notoriously weak on 68s. And this collection is no difference. 1970. Here's the snake to go with the mongoose. Again, quite nice. Quite nice. Beautiful stickers on it. And all complete. Goes wonderfully with the mongoose over there. And there she is, Mongoose and Snake. Mongoose and Snake. Next one up is King Kuda. King Kuda in green. King Kuda in green with a variety of racing decals. A little bit of wear on the top there. Looking at the tires, probably not worn for more than a few minutes. And very nice shiny on the bottom. Let's stick it over here. There's a variety of cars here with uh, the really nice racing stickers. Oh, here's one of the other sad, sad cars. You know, everything's not all great. Here it is, open hood scoop Mustang. Open hood scoop Mustang. And the sad thing is that, look at that. It's got deep dish wheels all around. Looks like bubblegum wheels. Rounded, yeah, rounded wheels. Edges are rounded. Can you see? Edges are rounded. Those are called bubblegum wheels. And the hood is loose. The hood is loose. That's so sad. 
Otherwise, wow, this would be a good car. It would be really good, but it's still good. It's just not a mint car. 68s, like I say, they're always bad. Almost always. Here's a Mustang in purple. Yay, Mustang in purple. I just took one out of my collection that wasn't perfect. And this one is one of the top cars in the collection. Purple Mustang. Got a little bit of rub on the roof there. I'll leave that alone. You don't want to be rubbing on Hong Kong cars because paint will just come right off of Hong Kong cars. So we will just call it good. Maybe put a new wheel on that front. I tell you what, though, if you ever decide, like, you don't like that wheel, the other one's this side. Look at that. See how perfect that is? Look at this side. Not so perfect on the front, though, but if you ever decide to take a wheel off a Hong Kong car like that, do not pull it off. Cut it off. Because if you break it, it'll be tragic. Look at this. Harry Holler in the light green. Harry Holler in the light green. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. But not exciting. Not as exciting as so many other cars. Oh, speaking of not exciting, Jackrabbit Special. But this one, mint and white interior. So popular. You only see like one cream, inter or cream interior for every... 10 black interiors so that's nice what was that crazy arm going across there you know i got another one on this side i could use that way i won't have to get everything in the way let's get these cars out of the way so we make more room for more cars there's still a bunch left to go let's see i got eight or nine in my lap here what's next ah beautiful red T and T bird. It's got a couple of rubs on the roof. I think those might rub off slightly with the, just a damp cloth. Beautiful, beautiful red. Look at that nice dark red with the dark interior. Kind of looks sexy with that big white stripe. Yeah, baby. What's this? McLaren and orange enamel. Now the McLaren and orange enamel used to be considered a rare car, but it's not really rare anymore. But this one is fabulous condition. You don't see them this nice. Somebody took a bite out of that bag wheel. That can easily be replaced. It didn't look good to, to begin with because you have beautiful U.S. wheels here. A lot of times these McLarens with beautiful U.S. wheels, they get taken off to put on, say, a Barracuda that needs a needs a little better wheels, you know. And uh, let's see the other side. Now those are not bad. I probably wouldn't mess with those, but you know, as long as they're U.S. Or as long as they're original wheels, you can swap them around. It's no, no harm, no foul on that. Original U.S. wheels are fine. Next one up. Oh, we got a yellow, a yellow Harry Holler. How's the toning on that? Let's see. Let me take it out of the light. It's not bad, really. Not bad. You can barely see the toning on this. It's a little bit there. But it's nice for yellow. You know, those yellows, they're crazy. Yellow is a crazy color. So hard to find. There's three of them in this collection so far. Isn't that what we decided? There were three. Nope, there was also a Porsche in yellow. But if you can get them without toning, that is so, so scarce. You can hardly ever find a yellow that is not toned. I've been looking. I got four or five of them, but that's about it. And I got lots of red lines. I love red lines. What's this? Hot Heap Purple. Is it a good one? It is. It's a beauty. It's a beautiful purple. Probably a later model purple. It, oh, look at how shiny that chrome is. Wow. Really nice. Really, really nice. That was nice. You know, the hot heaps, they just kept making those for a couple of years. Not like the Mustangs. They dropped those right away, I guess. Here's red. Darker interior champagne. Again, a beautiful front. Look at that. It's kind of neat. You can collect them in white interior or brown interior. And you can swap the interiors around a little bit if you want. And what do we got here? Oh, we got another TNT bird. This one with bad factory paint. Look at that popping on there. That paint has just fallen out all over the place. Otherwise, it's a brand new car. Look at that base. Brand new. Brand spanking new. It just The paint just did not hold up. But it is a new car. It is a new car. Speaking of new cars, my new car is in the shop. Yep, in the shop. Had defective part. And then when they fixed, replaced the defective part, they damaged the car. And then when I took it back to get that damage fixed, they fixed that damage and damaged something else. So, it's in the shop. All right. I should never buy. I should always stick with used cars. I do my best with used cars, especially Hot Wheels. Blue TNT Bird. A blue TNT Bird. Got little rubs on the roofs on these things. 
It's beautiful shape. Look at that. This one's got the U.S. looking wheels on in the back. Nice shiny base. Beautiful car. Look at that. There's three. Is that three TNT birds? I think it's three. Three TNT birds. Now we're down to the last tray. We are down to the last tray, and here we go. Some of these are doubled up. Let's see what we got. Let me pull back the camera a little bit, get a little more space. Move these off screen. TNTs, get everybody out of the way here. McLaren out of the way. Okay, what do we got? What do we got, Dave? Come on, 10 minutes left to go. All right, look at that. It's a US Dior, yay. And another nice US, or a nice US. And another one, what, what, a purple Hong Kong. Hong Kong square dots or square spots, round spots. There you go. Very nice. I think there's a red one in here too, or green or something. I know there's something I really liked. Oh, wait a minute. That's a 71. 71 AMX2. Got a couple of flea bites on the front. And uh, oh, it's got serious corrosion right there on the bottom. Right there. See that? Right there. Serious corrosion. It's just a little spot, but it's bad. Look at it. It's too bad because it's got this beautiful base. Hmm. Still beautiful. Still a nice car. But it does have that corrosion. Got to point that out to the potential buyer whenever I decide to sell that because you don't want to be surprised by corrosion. What's this? Oh, beautiful. Yay. Nice, nice Maserati Mistral. This one has, ooh, it is not easy to find one with paint this nice. Wow, that's definitely going to go in the top 10 right there. That's a beauty. Little spot, little, got a little water spot or something. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Wow. Wow, I can't say enough good stuff about that one. All right, Dior, as you drive off the screen there a little bit, you go off. Keep our wide open space here. And there's a Fire Chief Cruiser. Most collections have a Fire Chief Cruiser. This one's a real bright red. It's got the U.S. wheels on it. Some have the Hong Kong wheels. I, think, I don't know if they made them in both countries or not. This one says USA and foreign patent pending. Fire Chief Cruiser, no big deal there. What says, oh no, we're getting down to the end and we're coming up with Fire Chief Cruisers and Paddy Wagons and Jackrabbits. Come on, Dave. Where's the good stuff? Let's see some more really good stuff. Although this one does have the silver police on it instead of the gold. So that's cool. That's a lot scarcer than the gold writing. They do have the two colors. And what is this? I see a little fuzz down there. Okay. Now, we got a Boss Haas, but the Boss Haas, you can see, look, it got played with. It did. It got played with. Yeah, it got played with, but still, decent Boss Haas. Got some good shine to the to the front, shine to the bottom. Tires are worn a little bit. It's got some paint damage. I think somebody played outside with these cars. I'm pretty sure somebody played outside. Fortunately, it wasn't all of them. And the next one, Heavy Chevy. Heavy Chevy. Play wear? Hmm. Tires look good. Body looks good. Stripes are just kind of oldish. Uh, you know, you can't imagine they would be old. Heck. Heck, didn't they just make these yesterday? No. 1970. Holy smokes, that's 50 years ago. Oh my gosh, 50 years ago. Ooh. What's this? What is it? It's another heavy Chevy. This time, more beautiful than the last. Got sandy looking paint on there, a little texture to it, but it is gorgeous. Look at that with a white interior, aqua, perfect. Everything perfect about it. Oh, that is a blister pack pull right there. That one came out of the package, went into a slot in the carry case, and never came out again till now. And here is Boss Haas Chrome, the club car. Boss Haas Chrome was available by mail. From the Boss Haas Club kit. And almost getting down. We got five more. Oh, here's a gem. Here's a gem. Olive Heavy Chevy. Wow. I haven't seen one this nice in a long time. Long time. And when I say I haven't seen one in a childhood collection, it's what I, whatever I talk about, it's childhood collections. You can always go to the High Rollers collections and see just about anything. But when it comes to childhood collections, the the high rollers, they own collections of cars that have come from collections that have been collected ever since the beginning. And those, and then other stuff like that. Anyway, oh, oh, great. That's great. Look at that. That is beautiful. 
this is why heavy Chevys are so popular. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous. I've got one in a blister that looks this good too. This is beautiful. If you have one of these in a blister, they, that brings a lot of money. When they're this shiny like that. Shiny. This, these two are super shiny. This one's pretty shiny. And uh, of course, olive's not really shiny. And then this red is like a double shot. It's got a nice glow to it. See the door there? It's got a really good glow. That's a beautiful car. Wow. Two more in the tray and a couple more to show you after that. Oh, wow. We're ending on a really positive note here with these beautiful heavy Chevys. Heavy Chevy actually is the most popular red line of all times. There are others that compete, but whenever I put heavy Chevys for sale, that is always the first car to go out the door. Everybody loves the heavy Chevy, much more so than the Boss Haas. The Boss Haas is not quite as interesting and much harder to get. The heavy Chevys are hard to get, but uh, they're very popular. That's really nice to get five of them. Are you kidding? That's great. Five heavy Chevys. And then the last one in the unwrap is... I can't, is a slippery what is the slippery something it's a slippery Harry, Harry Holler in magenta look at that shine that is really nice I've gotten a bunch of Harry Hollers lately a couple in magenta but they were all corroded this one's quite gorgeous got one little factory flaw here on the front nose and it is gorgeous so that is a beautiful car and now you're probably wanting to know what are the top 10 cars in this collection and I'm not going to do the uh, circular Twit turning thing it's too much work right now and i got too much to do so let me figure out the top 10 5 10 in this collection and i'll be right back hey everybody thank you so much for watching this series of four videos about this childhood collection it is the nicest childhood collection i have ever found honestly i don't think i've gotten this many great cars all at one time in some time if if ever they are very beautiful and now for all of you guys, this is the reveal of the best cars in the collection. Well, actually, the best two cars in the collection I haven't shown you yet, and the reason I bought this collection, although all the cars are really nice, it's just like a small handful of cars that are even barely touched. So many beautiful cars, but I'm going to show you right now all of the best cars from the collection, and uh, let's get started right now. And, of course, here I am in my Hot Wheels room, as you can see. Oh my gosh, I got a wall of really cool accessories up there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love Hot Wheels. I keep all my extra cars down there and stuff like that. Look at this. I got this beautiful poster back here. I just love Hot Wheels. And see that thing right there? That's my Johnny Lightning display. My very first video on YouTube is all about the Johnny Lightning display. So go back 377 videos or 381 videos. Check out the Johnny Lightning display. Now, I took all the cars out of the Johnny Lightning display to dust them off and I never got around to putting them back in there because I decided maybe I should just replace all of the uh, the faded cars with all be beautiful shiny cars. And then a couple months after that, I bought 250 Johnny Lightnings and the possibility of replacing all the faded cars with shiny cars became real, but then never did it. So anyway, thanks for that and check it out. And here we go with the final two cars of the beautiful collection, about 180 cars altogether. All right, here we are at the table with the entire collection laid out before us. Look at that. There are so many cars. It goes all the way on this four-foot table. And right here, the best two cars in the collection. Before we look at that, let's take a look at what I think are the real premium cars in the collection. Got the pink Volkswagen and the ice blue Volkswagen. Got three beautiful heavy Chevys, the olive with white the aqua with white and the red with dark. Got a beautiful, beautiful Mighty Maverick. Look at that thing. So pretty. Look at those cars. Got a magenta and a red Terreros. I can't even say it. I've been talking for so long today. And look at this. 442 in red, pink Barracuda, purple Mustang, purple Charger. And not to mention, look at all these Nomads and AMX t Custom AMXs. Beautiful Volkswagens. Look at all these Woody Wagons. So beautiful. So beautiful. And some Indy cars and a Sky Show and so many other cars. And then some sad 68s. Unfortunately, that's just why 68s are so hard because most of them are pretty sad by this point. The first year they came out, they really got played with and the kids were little and stuff like that. And so they are typically in not great shape. But you never know. You never know what you're going to find in a collection. And this collection had the red 442 and 
It had a Rose 442, the Rose 442. Look at this beauty. Look at the shiny base on that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's pretty. Rose 442, wow. You thought the red one was nice. Look at this rose one. It is gorgeous. Can we get it in focus? Yes, there it is. Red or Rose 442, so pretty. Two 442s in the collection. You can't pass a collection up if it has two 442s in it, but that's nothing. That is nothing. What's behind the white sheet? Here it comes. Whoa, white enamel Camaro. Wow, we. I have never had a possibility of buying a white enamel Camaro before, but here she is in all her beautiful glory, white enamel Camaro. And get a load of this base. Oh, my. Wow, that is a beautiful car. The wheels are perfectly straight. The tires are perfect. Everything about the car is perfect. A couple of tiny, tiny micros on it, but this white enamel paint is so fragile, and that's why you do not find any beautiful cars like this. This is a gorgeous car. Got the U.S. white interior and the Hong Kong blue windows hybrid on the it's very typical on this white enamel Camaro. So there it is, folks. Beautiful cars in this best childhood collection ever video. Best childhood collection ever. And it's a video. That's the way it works. And this is brought to you today by Dave Williamson, the toy car collector. I've been the toy car collector for only almost 30 years now. I put out a monthly catalog of Hot Wheels and Matchbox for sale and have been doing that for 29 years. Oh, it's crazy. I'm crazy. The whole thing is crazy and collecting is crazy. Oh my gosh, I love to collect things. And so do you. So thanks for joining me. Be sure to leave any comments below. Give me the thumbs up and uh, tell all your friends to subscribe to my channel so I can have more and more and more subscribers. I want to be popular. Vote me popular. Yay! Thumbs up. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye now.